HCG family, it's Steph. Hi, um, not enough hours. This one's for you. She likes those car vlogs. <laughs> so hey, you guys, I gotta tell you something hilarious that happened. So my husband called me at work today and he said, honey, I hopped on the scale and I weighed 208. And I go, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? How much is that for you? And he goes, more than you, booyah! <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, you're kidding me. How did you do that? I mean, like, what did you eat last night? And he goes, um, I was pop. <laughs> I go, oh my gosh, I didn't even think that he listens. I had no idea he actually even listens because he doesn't do any research. He doesn't watch any vlogs. He doesn't even watch my vlogs, so. He doesn't know what's going on except for what I cook for him, for what's in the fridge and the freezer. He has no idea. So um, he said today though, he had a, um, you know how you can have one egg with two whites? So he did that this morning and he said it was so good. So we are talking about how long we should make this round. So my question for everyone is, does anybody do short rounds? And I heard um, one uh, beautiful lady, forgot her name, dark hair, she has five kids, you know, you know who you are if um, you're watching me. Um, she said that she did shorter rounds because she just couldn't deal, um, but do other people do short rounds just because they want to do short rounds, they want to try phase three, they want to like go into phase four and then do another short round or... I don't know because most of the time I don't know that I've ever really heard of anyone else that does short rounds. Most of the time I hear people doing these outrageously long rounds. So uh, somebody comment, let me know um, if you know of anybody that just intentionally always does short rounds because we'll need to do at least another round or so. Who knows, just depends, you know, because I hear that everyone's first round is the best. So that's where that's at and um, just looking forward to uh, the food oh I wanted to talk about food for a second so the other day I showed that I had radishes roasted radishes well today I met a girl for lunch and um, we were talking and I just brought my chicken and brought radishes and I just chopped them up and I put them in a bowl with the chicken and I put like a um, plate over the top of it and I microwaved it and I'm telling you what guys I've never mentioned this before because I've had radishes three times now radishes remind me of potatoes when they're cooked I never had cooked radishes until I started HCG and I started listening to you guys talking about roasted radishes so but if you feel like wow potatoes sound really good try cooked radishes they don't have to be roasted they don't have to be grilled but even if you just put them in like a soup and you cook them there's something about them they're really um give you good sustenance you feel like you had something solid you feel like you're I feel like my stomach is full afterwards and it's a really good feeling because you know <laughs> 500 calories you don't often feel like your stomach is full so so it's really nice so um Anyway, go for radishes. Try to cook some radishes up. So, uh, not sure what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. I'm thinking about some shrimp. And I have so many vegetable choices. I have never had my refrigerator like this um, that I just don't know what to even choose. And I'm not mixing vegetables yet, but probably next round I'll mix vegetables and do different things. Um, so, Anyways, so I am I might do some asparagus tonight just because I have so many things that I can do. Uh, but anyway, so every meal is luscious to me and I'm really enjoying it and I am absolutely, just want you to know, I'm absolutely scared to death of P3 and I'm very like impressed with like how Gina Mac has done P3, like some other people, you know, so I'm starting to do what other people do that might be going into P3 soon. I'm starting to look at 
P3 vlogs so that I can see like how did they do it? How did they make it happen? And I love vlogs like Liz Carr did one that teach you what she did wrong. And, and she says, don't do what I did, you know? And so I love that. So thanks you guys for sharing. Even, you know, when we trip over ourselves, that's really helpful to me to hear that I did this, it didn't work, it screwed me up, you know? So, um, really thankful that people are sharing the ups the downs the anyway so hope you guys have um, great releases what else are you supposed to say great releases great great day I don't know I can never remember how that goes but take care bye